I'm gonna have to take this off first because that big gear is bigger than the old big gear. So it's not gonna come to here, it's gonna come to like here somewhere. I may have to cut a chunk out of this and shrink it. Wow, that is gonna be a big strength improvement. This went in real smooth though. It fit perfectly. Alright, if I can push out some of this material in here, hopefully I can slide this over this part. I'll have to file some of this off too. Hmm. Ooh, it's like right on. Got the pedals all in there. It's looking pretty good. This part that I cut off, I rooted out the inside so it would slide back over the, the shaft and then resined it in and put a bunch of screws to make sure it doesn't move. Looks like it's doing pretty good. Now I just need to run that a whole bunch so the teeth will wear into each other and get smoother. It's actually noticeably smoother already than when I first put it on a few days ago. Uh, Oh, and when I put the propeller back on, I stuck on that little cone thing that I made before for it. Now it's been raining for like a week. Oh, these cameras are pretty. And uh, the sun just came out for the first time in, in days. So I want to test something. Yesterday, when there was no sun and I couldn't really check it, I pulled out this little solar panel, which is like 1.7 volts roughly. And I put it in line with this solar panel, which is the one that charges the batteries in there. And I did that because this is a little bit low voltage to charge the batteries. So it's uh, like 27 and a bit volts. And then this one's 1.7. So I'm running this one through that one and then into the batteries. So it should be more like 28 and a half ish volts. And that would be a good voltage to charge the batteries too. So I'm gonna grab my little thing here. See how that's doing. Oh, while I'm sitting in here, I think I'll get a bit of pedaling done. Believe it or not, that is significantly smoother than when I first put them on. Every day, I come out here and just run them a little bit, usually with my hands. I haven't taken the boat out yet because it's been kind of stormy. What the propeller's doing back there? Hopefully that's lined up. Alright, the voltage hasn't gone up yet from what it was before. So that's not a good sign. Let me see what the voltage is now. With that extra solar panel connected in. Like what's coming in from the solar panels into the charge controller. Ah, okay, that is excellent. When it's in full sun, 28.78, great. I checked with my little amp meter here that current is in fact going into the batteries. Only about two amps though, because this little solar panel isn't doesn't match the, the big ones. It has a lower amperage, so it's limiting it. But it's going in, so maybe 50, it's getting about 50 watts into the batteries. So I'll just have to wait a little bit and uh, check them later. All right, so where did I get this weird 1.7 volt solar panel? It, uh, it came off one of those big rollout solar panels that you like glue to your roof. It was, uh, there were a few old ones that someone was getting rid of. And I was like, yeah, I'll take them. And, uh, they were kind of in rough shape, but I cut out some sections that were in good shape and, you know, operated on them to find the contacts and, and uh, attach some wires and then just put some glue and PVC pipes on the, on the end there to, to close it and make sure nothing gets in there. And uh, I did that like a year and a half ago, so this has just been sitting around since then. And now it has a job, so hopefully it'll do good. And maybe I'll need to make another, I don't know maybe two more of these 
make it so I can just mount them on the side here or something. And whenever I'm parked, I can pop them up and plug them in. I know I explained why I have this voltage solar panels before, but just to recap, it's having the lower voltage solar panels is more efficient while driving. It won't charge as fast or f even fully charge the batteries when I'm parked. But while I'm driving, um, I'll get much more energy directly from the solar panels. Because basically the solar panels are uh, matched up with the motor voltage, so I can run directly to the motor. So with a lower voltage, I can get a higher amperage and get more energy to the motor um, when I'm driving, which I think is more important than when I'm parked, because I can just park long enough to charge the batteries all the way. And the solar panels that are there now, I only, only the rear one is charging the battery, but that'll charge the battery most of the way anyway. Just check my voltage under there. 27.4 before I stuck this little solar panel on it was maxing out at 20 27.1 yeah so I'm already up three tenths of a volt good stuff oh I believe that says 28.3 now excellent now what I'm thinking I might want to make foot pedals because you know it's much easier to pedal pedals with flat thing that you can strap yourself into rather than just a round bar. <laughs>